Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nanotech. The topic for today is nanofibers for biomedical and healthcare applications. I've already discussed about nanofibers and their synthesis, so if you're new here, please check out the link in the description box. We know that nanofibers are an interesting class of nanomaterials with two exterior dimensions that are identical at the nanoscale that is 100 nanometers and a third dimension that is substantially larger. Nanofibers have several attractive features, including a large surface area, the possibility to surface functionalization, tunable porosity, a wide material selection, and good mechanical properties. Nanofibers are good candidates for a wide range of biomedical applications, including tissue-engineered scaffolds, wound healing dressings, biomedical devices, biosensors, and drug delivery systems, because to their extraordinary features. Nanofibers for tissue engineering scaffolds. Tissue engineering is one of the most important and fascinating biological uses of nanofibers. Nanofiber tissue engineered scaffolds are now widely regarded as a viable option for improving the health and quality of life of millions of individuals, suffering from end-stage organ failure or tissue loss around the world. Nanofiber scaffolds provide Numerous desirable qualities for tissue regeneration and prolonged drug or growth factor release, including high porosity, large surface area, mechanical properties, and biocompatibility. Tissue engineering scaffold provides a 3D environment for cell adhesion proliferation, and the specific arrangement of cells into complex tissue is determined by the organ's functional architecture. Tissue engineering requires three key components, scaffold, cells including differentiated or undifferentiated and biological signaling molecules such as growth factors. Extracellular matrix or ECM, which is made up of biomolecules like proteins and polysaccharides, forms a complex microenvironment for cells in native tissue. ECM serves several functions, including mechanical properties and cell signaling regulation. Furthermore, ECM proteins are involved in cell dynamics, migration, and fate decisions, proliferation, apoptosis, and differentiation, via general mechanical binding with cell receptors such as INTE grins. Scaffolds made of nanoscale fibers with a high specific surface area may represent native ECM in morphological features. Nanofibers for biosensors and healthcare monitoring system. Nanofiber technology has opened a new promising window in the design and fabrication of miniaturist dimension biosensors, with high surface to volume ratio for immobilization and sensing, improved catalytic properties of electrodes, and exceptional ability to boost desired sensitivity, specificity, and reaction rate acceleration. Nanofiber based biosensors have the potential to develop towards single molecule biosensing among the numerous types of nano structured materials. Electrospun nanofibers have a high surface-to-volume ratio and a high porosity with linked voids, both of which are important for biosensing performance. The huge surface area of nanofiber allows them to incorporate substantial biomolecule loadings and efficiently interact with analytes, improving biosensor sensitivity. Furthermore, because electrospun nanofibers have a high porosity, they are more accessible and have a low mass transport resistance, allowing for better analyte diffusion across the sensing layer. Depending on the sensing application, the nanofibrous membrane should also meet mechanical properties, stability, and hydrophilicity requirements, which can be met by adjusting the composition and electrospinning parameters. Nanofibers for drug delivery application The biomedical application of nanofibers in drug delivery systems is rapidly expanding. Due to a variety of unique features and properties of porous nanostructures such as high drug loading, encapsulation efficiency, enhanced therapeutic index, localized delivery, reduced drug side effects, the ability to modulate drug release by engineering, and controlling the synthesis processing and solution parameters. A wide range of polymers can be used to create nanofibers. In drug delivery applications, a polymer solution, polymer and specific solvent, is prepared, and then a defined proportion of the drug is mixed into the polymeric solution, resulting in a homogeneous solution or suspension. This mixture is electrospun to produce nanofiber, containing a solid polymer drug complex. During the process, the solvent is evaporated. Depending on the electrospinning strategy used, different types of nanofibers can be synthesized. 
schematic shows the possible methods of drug loading methods in nanofibers. Incorporation of the drug can be done easily into electrospun nanofibers by various techniques such as physical adsorption, chemical immobilization, blending, coaxial electrospinning, and emulsion electrospinning. Various factors such as fiber composition, swelling, diameter, porosity, construct, geometry, and thickness can all influence drug release from electrospun fibers. Nanofibers for blood purification. Kidney failure is a life-threatening disorder in which the kidneys are unable to remove enough waste such as urea, creatine, and uric acid and excess fluid from the body. To eliminate uremic toxins from the blood, a team of researchers developed a zeolite, poly, ethylene covinyl alcohol, nanofiber membrane. Zeolites are capable of selectively adsorbing uremic poisons and this membrane is compatible with the human body. Nanofibers for wound healing and wound dressing. Electrospun nanofibers have enormous potential for wound healing. Electrospun nanofiber mats provide a structure like native extracellular matrix with high interconnected porosity, great absorbance. Water absorbance capacity of nanofiber is greater than films fabricated from the same polymers, balanced moisture, and gas permeability provide an appropriate environment to protect the wound from exogenous infection, cell migration, and proliferation, hemostasis, exudate absorption, and cell respiration. Electrospun nanofibers can influence skin cell responses such as proliferation, migration, differentiation, and the deposition of native extracellular matrix. Loading antimicrobials, growth factors, vitamins, and drugs into nanofibers holds great promise for the development of an effective antimicrobial system capable of treating wound infections, preventing bacterial biofilm formation, extending drug release, and shortening the wound healing process. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.